have a first impression review for you guys, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm excited to do this one. And it's over the new Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. I found this at Target yesterday. It was about $9, so a typical like Maybelline mascara price. But what this claims to do is add volume and lift to your lashes because of these push-up cup brush bristle things on the wand. I'll do a close-up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But basically the wand has these like U-shaped indentions all throughout it. And it's supposed to like grab your lashes and lift them up and hold them up there. So for me this sounds like a mascara that's supposed to hold your curl really really well which is always a good thing. Typically my lashes don't fall too easy. I have pretty average lashes if you ask me. But if this mascara can make them stay up longer that's awesome. Before we start the first impression if you like these videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know and let me know in the comments below what other reviews you'd like to see me do and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and and you can follow me on social media so we can keep in touch. But without further ado, let's try this mascara out. So I just opened up the packaging and this is what the mascara looks like, just tube and all. And it's a very interesting tube if you ask me. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be dual ended or something, but it's just one end. And the middle part with the like name of the product is more out. I don't really know why, but it's kind of cool. And then the wand itself, it's a rubber bristle wand and it kind of sort of reminds me of the what is it called the benefit roller lash I don't have it with me right now it's packed away in one of my boxes and I have no idea which one it's in but it sort of reminds me of that on first glance and then it's also a little bit bent so I don't know if maybe that's just mine or if all of them are a little bent but if you can tell it's kind of going down which is fine so yeah let's give this a shot so I gave my lashes a good curl and now we are going to just apply. I'm not wearing any liner because I don't want it to interfere with like how the volume looks. So the only thing I have on my eye is basically eyeshadow. So let's give this a shot. So this is what it looks like after one coat and these are my lashes obviously with mascara and then without and it definitely makes my lashes look really long and kind of fluttery which I like but I don't think there's like too much volume that was built up and of course I did get a little bit on my lid but I'll clean that up later. But I do like the length it gave but I do not think that there's too much volume here. And for a variation of the falsies, I was expecting a little bit more. I'm going to put mascara on my other eye, and then I'll come back to show you the results. Alright, so I ended up doing two coats of mascara because I was reading on the directions not to let the mascara dry between, like, different coats, and I didn't want to, you know, screw it up. And I was trying to get more volume out of it, but I feel like it just looks a little clumpy. This eye definitely looks better than this eye, but I just... I don't know, I'm not very impressed. What do you guys think? I don't know if I feel like this is anything special. So from far away, you can definitely tell that the mascara is there, but I still feel like it just looks a little too spidery for my liking, and it still is wet, which is driving me nuts because I feel like it's getting all over my eyelids, and it's stressing me out. And another thing I noticed about the packaging, it just kind of feels cheap to me because when I was you know, doing the mascara thing, I noticed that the wand is a little like loose in the cap and I don't know that just kind of is a sign of poor quality to me. And another thing I noticed when I was inspecting the wand of this, it looks nothing like how it's pictured here. Like literally absolutely nothing. I'll do a close up so you can see. But I feel like that's a little like misleading because that's the whole reason why I bought this mascara is because I saw the wand and how it looked different I guess um, but when you actually use it it looks like a pretty standard mascara wand but I will say what I like about this mascara the formulation is very light and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of mascara I mean right now I know I'm wearing a ton of mascara but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything which is nice so it's very comfortable to wear um, but other than that, I can't really think of any positives right now compared to other mascaras I own, both high and in drugstore. This one just isn't impressing me right now. With that said, I am still going to check in with y'all at the end of the day to see if it's flaked off or smudged 
or held my curl at all and we'll see just how it wears so I will see you guys in a couple of hours so it's the end of the day and I'm back to check in to see how the mascara has held up and looking close up at it the curl is definitely still there so that is a good thing since that was its main claim I guess but I also noticed on my bottom lashes it smudged a little bit and flaked and stuff not too bad but I don't think this is the best mascara for the lower lash line unless you get the waterproof one then hopefully that one should be fine but just the original plain formula um, it's smudged a little down here even though this mascara held my curl all day I don't think I would recommend it to my friends if they were in the market for any mascara solely because I don't think that this is anything special if you want to try it go for it it's not a bad mascara but there are definitely better ones out there and I would definitely give this a thumbs down because I'm just not too impressed and I can live my whole life without it. Alright everyone, so that is everything for this first impression review. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next on my channel. But that is everything. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later.